When you see a button in real life, you click it as hard and fast as you can. You don't even think about it, you smash it. You do that until you level up, and then you upgrade two random abilities. And then it's right back to clicking. You keep clicking until you pass out. And since we do love clicking a lot, we're gonna get two points per click. Now we're three per click, and off we go. And as much as I do enjoy clicking, I do also like making passive income, CPS, 0.5. Probably means coins per second in the background, so now I don't really have to do anything at all, except click. We're up to 5 per click, hitting level 5. Which, naturally, in a game about clickers, brings us to a broken Uzi. That's gonna give us a gun. So now we need to keep this beautiful angel alive. The enemies will come toward it, the gun will shoot them. The gun will not do a very good job of shooting them, but it tries really hard. Then we're gonna take a rare saw blade. Uh, since the Uzi is about as defensible as a sieve... We are going to need that saw blade a lot. A big heart, just like us. Every 55 button clicks spawn a heart, that's going to give us some HP back. Not that I'm saying we're going to lose HP, but if the current time is any indication, we're going to lose some HP. Next on our list of very handy abilities, Broken Uzi. Extra bullet speed, extra bullet damage, more important. The few times it actually hits something might be of some help. I feel like we forgot to install eyes when we got the Uzi, it literally just fires in random directions. We're going to take some health regeneration as well. I might just have to rely on raw clicking speed to get us through this. We're going to take some more idle button clicking because eventually I think that's going to stack up. We're on level 10. We're going to see how far we can take this. And not to gloat, but I am one of the more experienced button clickers in existence. Boxing glove. Every 11 clicks will push enemies away. That's actually going to be nice because it bats them all the way to the edge. And then we have more time for the Uzi to potentially hit them. There is something amusing about the chaos of an Uzi that fires indiscriminately in random directions. And we're going to add arena and bullet bounce. Uh, that way our bullets will bounce. Now that's better. I was worried where those air bullets are going. I was picturing them hitting a bunch of people. Tiny spikes. That's even better. Now anything that touches us is going to get hurt. We have one of the biggest, baddest abilities in existence in MP4. That also fires in the direction where we're clicking so we can actually aim our gun finally, but we're going to start getting these big guys coming toward us. Luckily our bullets bounce, so even if we miss the target, the bullets will still bounce around and hit something eventually. And luckily our indiscriminate Uzi is still firing everywhere, so we're getting lots of damage out. And since the MP4 is a legendary, we might as well make it even better. 25% damage increase. Which is actually going to make a big difference difference because these big circles are very hard to kill already. Well the mp4 let's make it even better again. I think it can fire quicker and also do a lot more damage and now we're really melting the big circles. I did wake up today thinking I wanted to damage as many shapes as possible so this is just perfect. We're definitely going to take more points per click because we definitely need to level up faster. More points basically means faster level ups which mean faster upgrades. I somehow got a little carried away with our Uzi so we didn't get as many points as we should have. More damage. More spikes, more damage. Damage. Let's do a larger arena. Enemies are going to spawn from farther away. That means more time for us to get to them. And we can use the power of our balls to get them all because those bullets don't stop for anyone until they hit something. Because the best kind of damage is accidental damage. The big circles are getting so strong. Our MP4 is getting strong, but so are they. We'll go for a little more uh, spike damage. That way, at least the things that do get there hopefully die right away without giving us too much damage. Here's a good investment. Wizard's Magic Book. Upgrade five random abilities. Hopefully they're actually useful abilities. Uh, they were whatever that was. Therefore, I am incredibly confident that that was very helpful. Like more points, 31, plus 31 per click, yes. Now we're getting 76 per click and there was a critical hit involved there somewhere. Now we're leveling up in a hurry. We probably also want uh, crit clicks, I think that's been upgraded a few times, so every once in a while we get a critical hit that's absolutely going to destroy things. I feel like we're also going to need to upgrade that broken Uzi, that's actually a considerable upgrade. It's not very accurate, but it does do a lot of just random damage and that's really what we're here for. Here's a rare ability, I get one reroll every 190 clicks. And that's going to be helpful because we don't want these basic level upgrades. It's legendary or nothing. We're going all for the good stuff. We're going to be so top heavy, we're going to collapse in on ourselves. Should we upgrade two random abilities? We got health and I think Uzi or MP4 out of that. So we'll take more damage. See, here's the problem. Only one of these is green and that's just a knockback thing. We don't want knockback. We want murder. We want straight up annihilation. So for now, we're going to take an extra 41 points per click. That's sort of like an investment in murder because it doesn't help us immediately, but will all through throughout our future and we got a lot of murder to do. We can also add spinning knives and all this clicking probably counts for my exercise for the day. 
MP4, legendary upgrade again, lots of damage, lots of bullet speed. Plus I now own the only button in existence that's protected by swirling swords. And just for funsies, we're gonna add a shotgun. Every 8 button clicks, shoot your shotgun blast, aim in the direction we're shooting. Which will look something like that. That's why is there a cat? Those cat things are going to be a problem because they shoot me back. I wasn't expecting things to be able to attack back. We're also going to add a pistol. We have our own private absolute arsenal. Okay, none of these are above basic. We want only basic uh, green or better upgrades. I also should be focusing on clicking a lot quicker. Wow, there's a lot of enemies. Might need a little bit of HP and HP regen because we're starting to take some damage. One reroll, nothing upgraded. Two rerolls. Well, at least we'll take a little extra regeneration and HP. That'll make me feel just a little more alive. And that's all I'm here to do today. I gotta make myself feel alive somehow. Well, let's go ahead and upgrade our Uzi. It's putting a lot of damage out there. I love those bouncing bullets. We're gonna add an extra three knives because you can never have too many knives circling you at any one time. If that was an ability we could have in real life, we would all opt for it. Get stabbed, idiots. All right, we're starting to take some damage. We're gonna need a little bit more, probably points per click. This actually doubles my clicking power. So we'll hopefully push you to more better upgrades. I gotta pay attention to the guys that actually have low HP to finish them off. Otherwise, they're just shooting me, even with low HP. All right, taking some heavy damage. We're gonna upgrade our stabby spikes. That will keep me a little bit safer. We need some hearts. I may have clicked off the screen to a rather detrimental effect. But we're just cruising along at level 38. The one major difference here is we now have Arrow Storm, which is a legendary ability, and some extra shields and toughness. And I've realized that if we buy less guns, we add less enemies to have to deal with. But for now, we're going to upgrade our Triple Deagle. This fire three bullets kind of like a shotgun, so it's really been helping me out. By the time you get to here, the enemies are definitely getting numerous. We could definitely use more clicking power, but we'll take critical clicks. The hearts that are appearing out there, I'm trying to upgrade them, so hopefully they spawn often, and when they do, they'll heal us all the way to full. So we'll be able to get away with some really stupid uh, things. This one's interesting. Button gets a quarter of the shield. So it's a rotating shield that can also uh, reflect bullets uh, because the enemies are going to fire a lot of bullets and they're going to be hard for me to see because there's a lot of chaos. It's just a sea of blood out there. And we're going to give the bouncer shield an upgrade. There was a charge attack button, but I don't want to be holding don't click. I need to be clicking lots for this build. The more I click, the more damage goes out. We'll take more big heart plus. We have even less clicks to spawn a heart and we get even more HP from them. So eventually there'll be so many hearts that we don't have to try anymore. We're also going to take crit clicks and give that an upgrade. We're firing so many shots. The more crits we do, the more points we get. And therefore, the stronger we get. It also doesn't hurt to get that extra damage out there, but the point multiplier is big. And we're going to upgrade our shield even further. We're missing some of our smell shields because some of them took some damage, but they'll regenerate as long as we can avoid getting touched by anything. It's a little bit hard to see the hearts out there amongst all the blood. Crit chance is going up again. One in 20 shots is going to be a crit with big crit points attached to that. Because if I'm seeing that correctly, our clicking power is still only 10. 10. But we get points for murdering things, and that's what we're hopefully going to do a lot of moving forward. Let's upgrade the broken Uzi. It does a lot of damage, and it's just going to fire in all directions. We have the bouncy arena, so it's our friend. Bouncing bullets are good bullets. Level 49, we could make our arena bigger. We're, we're going to take more defense. We're going to have more health, and we're going to have more HP regeneration. Maybe we can just regenerate through the damage as well. I'm going to build a super circle tank. That's all we need. There's a legendary invincibility button. We're going to add one second to that every 135 seconds. I feel like I'm going to forget to do that. And if we get to the point where I need that, I'm already dead. So we're going to take pistol plus instead. More damage to the pistol because that's the one that's accurately firing out in the direction of idiots. I also need to start cleaning up some of these little guys around the edge that are shooting us from a distance. But we're also going to take more defense plus because we could just regenerate through all the damage. That'll give us the time we need to uh, get these sharpshooters that are way out there and really hard to get to. Here's a long overdue upgrade. Points per click. We're going to go from 10 to 220. So now the leveling up will hopefully happen a little bit quicker. Although we do need 140,000 points to level up, so maybe that wasn't as good as I think it was. Whatever, I'm here to click. Not big. So I'm just going to keep clicking and good things are going to happen. We're going to get more broken Uzi. Now here's the thing. Everyone loves a good shotgun. Myself very much included. The problem with that is it'll start to spawn sharpshooters. Sharpshooters are those annoying little idiots that hover around the edge and are able to shoot me from 4 miles away. I think I am going to try the shotgun because we have lots of shields and the shotgun blast will hopefully clear up some of the clutter in front of me. So we'll be able to get to the sharpshooters quicker. Okay, we hadn't actually spawned the sharpshooters yet. Those are an entirely new enemy. So knowing what I know now, I might not have done what I just did. Luckily, I am well versed in the school of regret. So I know how to deal with it. We just keep clicking. Uh, we are going to start to get rerolls though. Every 190 clicks, it's a legendary reroll. So 190 clicks equals a free reroll with a chance of getting better stuff. The shotgun seems to be working in my favor so far. That's just a lot of damage going out towards the far reaches of the arena. We're going to take more heals from the hearts. The hearts can appear... Uh, 
uh, quite often, and when they do, we'll get all that good, all the uh, sharpshooters up here. We gotta get rid of them all. Enemies are starting to get tense. We're up to level 57. We're gonna take more pistol because that's definitely one of our main damage outputs, and it's so accurate that I can really slip it through the cracks. Well, since a shotgun is spawning lots of enemies, we're gonna give it a massive damage increase. I'm pretty sure that further upgrading it isn't gonna spawn more enemies, so the uh, stronger we can make it is gonna be getting our money's worth out of it. Look at all the guys over here. I don't fire to the left very often at all. More broken Uzi. That's probably doing so much damage for us. It just fires in all sorts of directions. Turns out there's a tier above legendary. It's mythic. That would actually give us the ability to move. I don't know if moving's a good idea or not. I feel like I'm just gonna walk into the spawn points. I'm safest in the center because everyone spawns around the outside. So very curiously, I'm not gonna get that. I am gonna get small shields plus. It would be nice to get some penetration involved. Penetration is usually my key to success in these things. I guess we can upgrade our arrow storm. That's a legendary. I haven't loved it from the beginning, but I'm sure it's done some goodness to, uh, thin out the herd out there. Just keep clicking. Just keep clicking. They'll all die soon. Nothing legendary or mythic. We're definitely re-rolling that. Triple Deagle, a uh, rare upgrade. Lots of damage. And that's going to be good because we really need to start clearing out directly in front of us. Those little idiots are getting awfully close. We're going to use another one of our re-rolls here. Upgrade five random abilities. I'm pretty sure those are ones that I own, so everything there got upgraded, so that's big for us. Because I obviously wouldn't take any upgrades that weren't good, so we upgraded five useful things. Let's also take small shields plus again, because those shields are probably actually saving us a ton of damage from those guys on the outside shooting from way out there. I just realized those aren't even circles, they're imposters, they don't belong here at all. Okay, shotgun's gonna get a real big damage increase. I think it also fires an extra bullet out of that too, so it's getting a massive upgrade. The legendary op. I don't know if I want to take that though because it's going to spawn brutes and brutes don't sound like something I can deal with. For now I will take another small shield so I definitely lost count a long time ago. I'm not sure I could count that high anyways, but we're safer than ever, with more damage than ever. Maybe some more broken Uzi? I don't know if we should be trying to reroll these for like new secret upgrades. I'm not really sure what exists out there. So we're just, we're just pointing and clicking. I mean, let's be honest, the less thinking I do, the better off I'm gonna do. That's always the way it goes. Button health. We're gonna get more health regeneration. I'm pretty sure health regeneration is the key to our success here. We are taking damage, but we're healing right on through it. These are all basic upgrades. I'm not a basic person. I'm just kidding. I'm a very basic person. Alright, well, we're just gonna go ahead and upgrade our shotgun for now then, because it really didn't want to give us anything fun. More basics! So we'll just take more uh, HP and regeneration. We have 300 HP and lots of regeneration, so it's gonna take quite a force to take us down. I'm not sure there's enough circles in the universe at this point. Well, let's take even more crit chance. 6.5% chance to crit that's gonna get us lots of extra points and just do extra damage. That's really an easy one to get. I guess we're just gonna upgrade our broken Uzi, because that's probably just firing a lot. We can never have too much damage. And it's an auto attack, so it's definitely just adding random damage out there. So you know what? Let's do it again. Even more random damage. The bullets bounce till they hit something, so every shot is just raw efficiency. And I know that's what you guys are all here for. Refined, raw, researched efficiency. This is actually a really big one, Big Heart Plus, because it takes less button clicks to spawn a heart for even more HP. And that's what we consider a investment for damage. Down the road, that's gonna pay dividends. For now, not that exciting, but the longer we live, the more damage we do. Our Triple Deagle definitely needs an upgrade. It's gonna go for whatever. I think it lands on 21, so that's a big, big upgrade. And that actually suddenly feels like I'm able to tear through things a lot quicker. I feel like I'm sort of melting my way all the way to the edge of the map. Well, let's leave it a chance. Upgrade two random abilities. Let's be honest, if, if someone else does the thinking for me, it's better. Critical hit and pushback. The fist of doom is coming for these idiots. Look at that, more big heart plus. Even less clicks, even more heals. One day the hearts will outnumber the circles, and then they'll see. Then they'll see. I wouldn't mind some higher quality upgrades though. As much as I like basics, I do like other ones better. I guess critical clicks it is. Broken Uzi plus, I mean... It's doing 100 damage now if I saw that correctly, so it's just firing 100 damage randomly in all directions. That thing woke up this morning and chose violence. More big heart plus. We get less clicks to get us there. 35 clicks. 35 clicks if we get a heart. We're doing 35 clicks fast. That's why there's so many hearts out there. I'm not sure we've even needed them yet, but they'll be there when we do need them. Kind of like a coffee. It somehow just appears when you need it. I would upgrade my clicking ability, but we need 1,250,000 points to get an upgrade. So an extra thousand that's still going to be over a thousand clicks per level. And nobody's got time for that. We're going to go crit clicks. That works as a points multiplier anyway. So we kill things, we get bonus points, plus we do extra damage. It's really a win-win. It wants to keep giving me defensive. I'll keep taking it. 
an extra HP and HP regen. Wonder what's gonna give up first, the game or my computer? We got another mythic ability, Skull Harvest. This sounds like something I would love. The button will consume the skull of every enemy defeated. Each skull consumed gives a really small upgrade to a random ability. Those are not permanent. I'm also not really sure how to use that, but I am glad these things have skulls. That means they do have a brain and a conscience, so it really hurts what we're doing. Skulls consumed give slightly better upgrades. We're already upgrading our mythical ability. I just have no idea how to activate it. But something gave us a little bit of extra HP, so I'm assuming it's that ability. Yep, it's just, uh... Yeah, it's working in the background, so we're just getting small upgrades every time we kill something. Skulls consumed give slightly better upgrades again. Perfect. We're just getting itty bitty upgrades for everything. Our maximum HP will probably be a pretty good indication of that. The higher that goes, that means all of our other stats are also going up. At this point, we're just going to take the tiny spikes. We might as well. It'll be a little bit of extra damage going out. And it's certainly not going to hurt anything as we go. Even less clicks to get the heals showing up. We're at like 50% of the clicks it should take. So that's actually really, really good. Mm, starting to get a worrying buildup of the uh, six-sided idiots up in the corners. So we need to take care of them. I get a little complacent and stop firing at them. We're going to take Skull Harvest again. We are going to get even more slight upgrades. And that's going to be great because we're up to 330 HP suddenly. We'll harvest 10 million skulls and become a god. I'm also running out of rerolls. I'm generating them back, but I'm trying to get all the good stuff, so we're just going to take better crit chance and crit hits. There's a lot of the shooters uh, sitting out on the corner, so i got to focus on them, because they're going to start to pile damage on me. Everything else can just touch me for a second. I don't mind being touched a little bit. Alright, Skull Harvest some more. We can never have too much Skull Harvesting going on in any game we play. Okay, starting to take some pretty heavy damage. We got to get some of these shooters. The shooters are absolutely destroying us from the right side. Do we have any hearts on the board? I can't see. Okay, we're going to uh, regen through this. We're going to keep clicking that way. Get the shooters, get the shooters get the big boys uh let's take a gamble here upgrade two random abilities back to the shooters okay we gotta get these guys there's a heart right there got the heart we're regenerating we are getting more of the shooter guys i really got to start paying attention and not let them pile up like this this is getting ridiculous there's also a few hearts down in that corner so we're back almost to full health and we took out the cluster of shooters improve the dice roll that's even better I want more of these. Now we can reroll more often and get better chances and stuff. Okay, suddenly take a lot of damage. Focus. Okay, now the shooters are piling up on the left. The shooters are piling up like as fast as I can uh, destroy them. So we're going to need some more damage going way out there. But look at all those hearts. Give me those hearts. We're spawning lots. We just got to get to them. So we're going to increase our dice roll legendarily again. Uh, that's going to hopefully uh, get us some really, really, really good upgrades that we really, really need right now. I definitely need to just focus on wherever the biggest cluster of shooters is at any given time, soften them up and move back to the other side. This is all under control. I've consumed 1,000 skulls. I got an achievement in everything like a big boy. Hopefully they send me a trophy. Skull Harvest again. We're all up to 350 HP. That's really starting to stack up quickly. Okay, look at the big cluster of idiots in the corner though. We gotta try and get through to some hearts and stuff. Hey, it's getting hard to see the hearts too. We really gotta just try and get to them anywhere we can. Okay, we're gonna upgrade our pistols some more because it is accurate. So when I want to kill particular things, I should have a slightly better chance of doing so. Even a single penetration of bullet would be massively helpful here. Because all these stupid little circles are blocking all the damage we're getting to the important guys. And I really just need their skulls. We're going to take more crit chance and crit damage. We're barely healing through the damage we're taking in. So we got to try and get something really, really good. Well, we're going to upgrade two random abilities, which was my heart ability and I think the pistol. So actually, that's really, really good. Suddenly, I feel like we have some breathing room again, but we definitely got to keep up. Anytime we see these uh, six-sided skulls on the side, we got to take them out immediately. Broken Uzi gets another upgrade. He's going to love it. That's so much extra damage going out. Okay, I think I mostly managed to take out the cluster of shooters on the right at least to a satisfactory position now we'll focus on the left because the ones on the right will die with the slightest of braces okay we're gonna drop this down i think big heart might be at its max so only 23 clicks to spawn a heart it gives us more heals but we might not be able to uh, increase that any further on its stats our skull collecting might increase that however and that would be great most of my skull collections don't do anything at all but amuse me okay we officially have a 10 percent chance for crits so one in ten uh, is going to get us a lot of extra points, and that's going to be big for us getting even more beautiful upgrades. We're at level 101. I'm going to get the spinning knives at this point. They don't add any enemies, and then they'll just re uh, generate something right around me that's hopefully going to take away some of the little damage from the little idiots. Basically, we're adding a weapon without adding any enemies, so that feels good. I will take some defense plus. That gives us more regeneration and HP, so we're at a flat 400 HP and lots of regen. Small shields plus. We're going to add an extra shield going around. That's going to block a lot of bullets that we need blocking. 
Let's upgrade two random abilities, that was critical hit and HP. More pistol damage and bullet speed, that means the bullets get quicker to the proper idiots instead of getting absorbed by the babies in front. Let's just go ahead and upgrade another two random abilities, that was two of my guns, so two of my guns got a lot stronger. Two random upgrades again, that was shield and HP, 418 HP. And we got some pretty hardy shields to protect us. I just got an achievement for defeating 250 raging gunners. I'm not really sure which ones those are, but we defeated 250 of them, but they're piling up fast. I've been getting a lot of the student's magic book, so I've just been taking it. Instead of upgrading one ability, let's just upgrade two. They're all useful. I wouldn't say we're invincible at this point, but we are really, really, really strong. We are regenerating through a ton of damage. Oh, and a long overdue upgrade to our legendary MP4. Extra damage, extra bullet speed. We've also defeated 5,000 assassins. That's a lot of skulls we've collected. We got the skull harvest upgrade again, but this is a mythical quality upgrade for it. I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to take it and just keep killing things. We've also hit 1,000 critical hits as of now. We're still going strong at level 121. Level 124, every level up requires 10,427,000 clicks. Since we're going so strong at level 125 and making this look laughably easy, let's try one of the endings and fight the boss. Let's see if we're up to the task of fighting him. Let's see how powerful your clicks are. I think we're going to be doing pretty good. So far his health is dropping quite quick. Quickly we're allowed to move. Alright, well we're just going to sit right here on his face probably and blast him with damage. He's already lost 10% of his HP. Uh, I think he's firing some orbs back in our direction. I think our damage and protection is we're just going to melt them. Even his sturdy shields stand no chance. We just melt through everything he puts in front of us. Yeah, I remember my first battle. I somehow lodged a giant arrow in his shield. It made it really big. He's also swinging a big sword at us that is starting to hurt just a little bit. But then as soon as I uh, move away from him and stop taking damage, our regeneration just puts us right back to full health. Even when I click off the screen, we're still defeating him. Pretty good boss battle so far. Really, really feeling the struggle. And he's dead. 